the newest research I've just um, seen, as I said, is 62 to 64 times of repetition before that habit becomes installed at an unconscious level. And just to give, an, give your listeners an idea of what that might feel like, um, I wonder if they can play along with me. If you're driving, you're not going to be able to do this, but uh, or you might want to pull over. But just um, take it, you know, if you've got coffee or whatever you've got in your hand, just pop it down so your hands are free. And now just fold your arms, right? It's easy. Everyone would have just been able to fold that, their arms very, very easily. But now unfold your arms and give them a bit of a shake and fold them the opposite way around. Now, that's much trickier because when I ask you to fold your arms the first time, you've got a, a programming for how you fold your arms. It happens automatically. You do not need to think about it. That's just like ordering coffee, two flat whites when I know I'm drinking green tea. When I ask you to fold them the other way around, we've got to get conscious, the conscious mind involved. So that's not habitual. Now we've got to think about it. And this is what it's like when we're creating new habits. We've got to be consciously mindful to make that decision carry in order for it to eventually become unconscious. 